Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, so we have a pretty cool opening to do today. We have these Neo Genesis Heavy First Edition packs that we're going to open up for Mr. Michael. And um, he actually, he grabbed them, he was like, man, I just got your last three packs. He wanted to know what had been uh, pulled out of them. So far, no Typhlosion or Lugia has been pulled. But I uh, actually had three more on eBay at the time. He's got, I think he's going to wait and see what he gets in, out of these to figure out if he's going to buy those other ones or not. And uh, so we might have another video coming. We may not. But anyways, thanks guys for coming out and supporting the channel. If you guys uh, shop on Amazon or on eBay, if you ever use my eBay link or my Amazon link down here in the description, you don't have to buy from me. I mean, it'd be great if you did. But if you just use my link and then search for uh, whatever you're trying to buy on Amazon or eBay, it really helps out support the channel. It gives me a little bit of a kickback because these links are market affiliate links. So anyways, without... Uh, Going further into that, we're going to jump straight into these booster packs. We have three of them. I've been really enjoying the high amount of viewers that we've been getting. And um, I'm starting to run out of packs again, but I do have some stuff on the way in. I would imagine these, the last three of these Neo Genesis Heavy First Edition packs are sold out by the time this video airs. However, it's not. if it's not, send me a message. Maybe I have some more that have come in. Don't really know on that. I'm getting low on Neo Discovery as well. Hopefully I have some base set coming in. So we're going to start off with this Meganium artwork. Alright. I can't remember where the card is. I'm going to see if I can recognize it. Yes, yeah, the second card from the front. That's definitely the hollow right there. Centering isn't perfect, but man, it's not too bad. And I don't see any damage on the back, so that's probably... The condition, the grade, is all going to be determined by whatever's on the front. Alright, so we're going to start off with this Psychic Energy. Then we have Togepi. That's a really good one. Flaffy, also a very expensive one. And so is Miltank. I mean, when I say expensive, I mean like these uncommons, to get them in you know, mint condition, near mint condition, you're looking about 5 bucks a piece. They maybe even be more than that now because I removed all of mine a while back. And these are like pack fresh. You've got Shuckle, Onyx, Cyndaquil. Meryl, can we get a Pikachu? Oh, we got Ladybug and Hoot Hoot. Okay, so we'll set those off to the side. So for our very first holo, we have, oh, Metal Energy. Now, you uh, you wouldn't think that I'd get excited over this one, but this is actually a really tough card to get in PSA 10. So let's see, let's look at the holo. Well, there are some print lines, they're faint, but you can see them. This is, pro this is why this one's really tough to get in PSA 10, because it has so much more holo. Uh, because it has that extra hollow, you're you're going to pick up those print lines more often. You can see a few really light ones right there as well. So I would say uh, condition-wise, you know, other than the hollow, I mean, you're looking at close to a 10. But however, because of the hollow print lines, it's probably going to be a strong 8 or a 9. Next pack. And you know what's, what's pretty cool about the Typhlosion that I bought for $10,000? I've already been told that somebody turned down... Or somebody made an offer of thirteen thousand on the card, and was, and they got turned down. And the one that was up for twenty five thousand got pulled. I think he wants to set his back. We're seeing PSA eights and PSA nines now go for over a thousand dollars, which is just crazy. So, <clears throat> if someone does pull the T seventeen, the Typhlosion number seventeen, um, they're definitely going to make their money back, unless they it's just horrendous and it's like a seven or lower, or lower. And what's crazy is the only, I think the main reason that the card is going up drastically now again for like the fourth time in the past year is because uh, there's some people who are raising a stink about the price. They didn't really like it. And because they rose the controversy, every time they bring it up, it's like people are like, oh yeah, this is a good investment because a lot of people say, no, I'm not going to pay that much for the car. And then the other people are like, yeah, you know what? I think it is. I disagree. And then they go and buy the card and they shoot the price up because I was trying to sell PSA 9s for $80 at the Hartford Collectors event back in May of last year, so not even a year ago, and they wouldn't sell. And now a nine just, I believe, sold for $1,500. It's crazy. I think I know for sure there was one that sold for $1,200, and then there's an eight, I think, that sold for $950. It's just crazy. I mean, that's 10 times the price, you know? All right, so pack number two. Ooh, Bell Awesome. It's not a bad pull. Usually this one's a little easier to grade PSA 10, but the price on it is still pretty good. Oh, there it is. I didn't man, looking straight at it, like you don't even you don't see it, it's doesn't really there, and then bam, it just like sticks out right at you. It's got a print line, but it almost blends in a little bit. 
guess the way the green is, you know, looking straight at it, but still a really nice pull. Very cool. Man, I just changed this Band-Aid out like 30 minutes ago. I think I've got, I, I get the ones that's like, really, really tough to pull off. Maybe that's why they had this, like just random stuff sticks to it. But pack number three, Typhlosion artwork. Can we pull the Typhlosion? So far we actually got a big pull that's over $1,000 if you get it in Gen Mint 10. However, I don't think that was a 10 and I don't think the Belossum is a 10 either. Let's see if this one will pull out something cool. You know, Typhlosion or Lugia, I don't think anybody would complain about that no matter what the condition was pretty much. Ooh, this looks a little better. Check out the centering. The centering is better on this one than the past two. I wonder if it came off of a different sheet. We'll have to see what that one comes out to. All right, so we have Grass Energy, Furet, another decent uh, uncommon, Bayleaf, the 29. I think the 28 is a little bit more expensive on that one, but either way, any of the Neo 3 starters, you got the Totodile, Cyndaquil, and the Chikorita. Any of those or the Evolutions do pretty well in sales. You got the Shuckle, Double Gust, now oh, that's it. And so I think the four Pokemon in here, you got Hopip, Centret, Hoot Hoot, and Mareep, all Gen 2. All right, for the last hollow pull, let's see what we have. Ooh, another metal energy, wow. So I guess it was from another sheet, and that's probably why it doubled up. Let's see if this one has a chance at the Gem Mint 10. Right, let's see what we have here. It's looking good, oh, there it is. You see those little print lines right there. Man, I don't th man, that was two out of three packs. It's almost like that stamp is a little bit lighter too. Well, it doesn't really look like that through the camera, but in person, this one looks a little bit lighter. So, <laughs> I know it may not seem like it, but these metal energies are pretty big pulls. You've got five or six cards within the set that are all just really expensive if you get them in Gen Mint 10. But we didn't get the Lugia or the Typhlosion in this one. Still have three packs left. Maybe in one of those we could get, you know, one of the two big pulls, which there's other ones too. Slow King, for Alligator. Meganium, Pichu, all those are over a thousand bucks. But anyways, I hope you still enjoyed the video. Three heavy first edition Neo Genesis packs. I wonder how much longer we're going to be able to open these things up like this, you know, on a regular basis. These packs are getting really, really expensive. See you guys.